Yo, 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 what's going on guys? Um, what is it, episode 13 of the vlog? So this week's been pretty mental. Been mostly just recovering my hip flexor, working on my skills, training, um, as much as possible. Um, we'll find out about more about that in a second. Uh, if you're interested, obviously, in online coaching, go to momlifting.com slash coaching. Otherwise, sit back and enjoy the show. So, you might be wondering why I'm lying on the floor at the minute, in a very awkward position. And I'll tell you, because I'm currently, oh, currently in a lot of pain, rehabilitating my hip flexor, giving it a good, giving it a good uh, roll out with this uh, hard ball. Oh, bloody hell. It is painful. It's really painful. Um, yeah, so if you were paying attention last week, you know that I can't actually do any leg training at the minute because of what I've done to my hip flexor. Like, I don't even know, but it's in a lot of, uh, it's in agony, basically. It's been, uh, it's been horrible. And so I borrowed this hardball from CrossFit London. Shh, please don't tell them. Keep that between us. Only for today. I take it back tomorrow. But just so I can give it a, give it a proper rollout. Oh, give it a proper rollout without, uh, I didn't basically have time at CrossFit London yesterday and it was just sitting there looking at me and I thought, oh, I can't, I can't be bothered to go shopping for one. So I'm just going to borrow it and then I just drop it back tomorrow because I'm going to go to, um, to go and do some videos and stuff anyway. So yeah, a hardball is an amazing way to roll. I've been trying to do this with uh, a, a roller at gym box and it's just not been working. Uh, it's kind of helped a little bit but um, it's not been very effective, so I just decided to uh, steal this, but mm, oh, for a day, just so I, because I knew I'd have a chance today just to give it a good bit of uh, attention. So if you've never used a hardball, it's exactly like a roller, you're just gonna give it a bit of, mm, you're gonna give it a bit of, Bit of a massage, find a find a painful spot, and then, ooh, whew, and then you just sit here, just like you would with a roller, for like twenty seconds. Let the muscle release like this. Oh yeah, and then uh, find the next painful spot, and you're just gonna make your way around the area, ironing bits out like this, until um, <laughs> until you're good, really. No, I can't spend forever on it, but just like five, 10 minutes of attention like this. <clears throat> Let me get back down here so you can see me. Five, 10 minutes of attention like this is like a really good way to help um, encourage your muscle to uh, behave itself so you can do more leg stuff. <laughs> so get yourself a hardball. Like don't, don't do what I've done. Just buy one, they're not that expensive. Lacrosse ball, hockey ball. Or you can buy um, specific rehab balls probably now. They probably make them on Amazon or something. Mm, that's enough for me. And um, yeah, that's about it really. Give it a good. It's a handy tool to have. It definitely is because rollers are one thing and rolling's good. But if you've got something more... Oh, sorry. <laughs> if you've got something that needs more like targeted... Um, massage like this, like my hip flexor, for example, it's right around the socket. It's not an easy way to, it's not an easy place to roll out effectively, but with a hard ball, you can get right in there, right in there, and uh, really give it a, really fucking make it work. <laughs> oh. Anyway, so this week, this week we've had some serious breakthroughs at CrossFit London. It's been so good. We had um, a couple of guys doing their first handsprings. Uh, well, getting somewhere with their handspring progressions, not full handsprings yet, but off the block, unassisted, which, um, yeah, is really good progress for some of them. And Well, all of them, in fact, is really good progress. And um, yeah, I was probably buzzing about it. I've also almost managed to get some handstands on the rings on video. I managed to do like three or four 
yesterday and uh, one today, but uh, I don't have it filmed. What else have I been up to? Oh yeah, we've been teaching a bunch of people ring muscle ups. One of my mates, Dave the Electrician, did his first ring muscle ups literally today. I'll show you some clips of that because uh, I was well happy. And um, yeah, other than that, it's mostly skill training for me. So I've been on this skill cycle. Uh, for those who don't know what a skill cycle is, it's basically like a strength cycle or like a stability cycle or something like that you would work on. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, so you, the programming changes basically to focus more on skill progressions. So for me, that's been planche. It's been 90 degree push-ups. It's been my handstand push-ups. And it's been these handstands on the rings. Okay, that seems like quite a lot and it kind of is. Like usually I just recommend doing like one or maybe two skills that can kind of complement each other. And that's kind of what's going on. You know, like you'd say like a planche and handstand push up and 90 degree push up. They're all kind of in the same ballpark. And <laughs> okay, one straight arm and one isn't. <laughs> one is isometric and two are dynamic, but um, it's not really affected my training combining them all. It's mostly the planche that I've been focused on. Handstand push-ups I've already got. It's really just drilling them to increase my rep count and uh, consistency with them. And the 90 degree push-up I've just been training. Every every time I uh, go in the gym, I just bang one out basically, which is looking much neater now. I've done a couple. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy with the progress basically. It's been, it's been fucking nice. It's been good to uh, actually have like more of a focus for myself and uh, and actually achieve something too <laughs> because like being P PTing, like coaching, like you don't get a lot of time to, f you think you would, but you actually don't get a lot of time often to work on your own stuff because you're so busy with clients all the time, so busy working on the website all the time, that there's, like, there's just so much going on. And Yeah, so excuse my noises, <laughs> my jungle noises. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, excuse the jungle noises. Um, but yeah, this is obviously a really important thing for me to for me to be doing because I really need to start training my legs again. I feel like they're super scrawny. Um, yeah, so basically training a lot, working with clients. I've got my gymnastics class at Gymbox this evening, which should be really good. And, uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I'm going to stop recording now because I'm literally just <laughs> hurting myself in front of you guys. Uh, so check out some of the clips from training this week. Okay, I'll catch you in a bit.